Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I have another uh, hot sauce to review for the uh, Pepper Palace, the planet's number one hot shop. And they are headquartered in Seaverville, Tennessee. Now this one I'm reviewing today is uh, doing this one uh, for the local Pepper Palace close to where I live in Concord, North Carolina. Now this is the Time's Up Reaper hot sauce. Now this one is the mustard blend. Now they do have a, a tomato blend as well. But it comes in these uh, just about a three and a half ounce size uh, flask type bottle. So let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. Uh, sodium is not too bad, only 50 milligrams. I just love a good uh, mustard based hot sauce if it's done right. Now this one, the ingredients, we start off with good old distilled vinegar, water, garlic powder, reaper pepper powder, mustard powder, onion powder, salt, lemon powder. No, I'm just kidding. Lemon juice which is lemon juice, concentrate, and water, sodium bisulfate, sodium benzoate. Then we have turmeric, sugar, and xanthan gum. Now this one really has a uh, mustard color to it, as you can see. It's got a pretty nice uh, consistency, not too thick or thin. But as you can see, you can really tell that it's made with a lot of powders. Uh, you can see that in there. Now the aroma on this stuff, guys, is amazing. Uh, you just get a blast of garlic and mustard. I mean, that's really what I'm picking up. Um, it doesn't smell overly vinegary, but just like a, a mustard should be. Not too tart, though, but a very rich, garlicky, strong mustard smell. Not too tart or sour from the vinegar, if you know what I mean. But a very rich, garlicky mustard. And let's go ahead and check it out. Right, that should be enough. Here we go. Wow. Now, I think this one smells better than it tastes, if you know what I mean. I kind of can tell. It's got a good mustard flavor, got a good garlic flavor. You get the, the heat from the, uh, the Carolina Reaper powder that's in here. Uh, not crazy, crazy hot, but it's up there a little bit. Uh, but you can kind of tell, if you know what I mean, that it's uh, not really chalky, but uh, you can tell that it's made with a lot of powders. I think this would have been so much better if it was made, made uh, with, uh, you know, fresh garlic uh, and onions uh, instead of the the powders so much. Maybe, uh, and, and fresh reapers as well would really be good. But um, it's got a pretty good flavor on it. Very strong in mustard, very strong in the garlic. Um so let me show you what I did with this, guys. Now, I just love a mustard sauce on fish. So uh, here's a picture of some uh, fried tilapia. I made a mustard sauce with just using this and some mayonnaise. Poured that on top of the fried tilapia. There it is uh, with a, uh, a fried grit cake and some collard greens as well. And that was just amazing. Uh, so I love a good mustard sauce mixed in with other sauces like that. Or you could just put this straight on some rice and beans. Uh, but very, very strong in mustard. I think this would be good on hot dogs and on burgers. It's just, uh, you know, not real thick like a, a mustard where you're going to be able to spread it. But uh, pretty good flavor on this one. I'm going to have to go with sevens on this, both for seven for flavor and seven for heat. It's got a pretty good burn on it. You get the all over super hot uh, Reaper burn. So about a seven for flavor, seven for heat on this one. On the Pepper Palace's Time's Up Reaper Hot Sauce. Make sure you check them out. Give them a like on Facebook. And I'm sure wherever you're located, uh, you might have a, a Pepper Palace close by. But if not, you can get it online at thepepperpalace.com. So make sure you check it out. Tanya, thank you very much for sending this one. I do appreciate it. Everybody, thanks for watching. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.